Welcome back everybody to another episode of 8 Imperialism and today we are continuing our Russian campaign looks like Prussia is now being devoured by Moldova and uh, Valachius as well and the Ottomans and the Qajar are now facing a terrible fight while well, Kazakhstan is still alive and doing very well uh, I'm not so sure about how we're gonna do something next with the upcoming events but what I know is that I'm going to make sure that I have a lot of troops waiting near the Ottoman border because I feel like we're gonna have the Ottoman Russia Turkish war really really soon now I'm waiting for when great trade okay a powerful speech okay let's ignore that one great trade again so let's give some money some uh, troops at the border and uh, let's get some army troops okay Okay, the rise of Slavophilism. Slavophilism is the uh, philosophical ideology that sees Slavic philosophical thought as better suit for Russia and other Slavic state compared to the Western ideal of democracy, liberty, and materialism and rationalism. Slavophilism promotes the Russian messianism, historical Russian morality in the contest to the more capitalist and liberal approach to life of the West. Okay, interesting. I uh, will get some more men. Thank you. And now we are low on treasury. Who really gives a damn? So let's go to the border and wait and see it all. Now we have a play. What the hell? That's worse. Oh, I don't want to open the mine. Let's remain closed. I'm sorry. I hate the mines. Pan Slavism. A new, as a new ideology spread through our intellectual class, a new idea has spawned from the mix of our geopolitical ambitious and our reign social political rhetoric. Rhetoric, okay. The ideology of the Pan Slavism has been gained quite amount of traction lately. Its leader can be traced back to having connection to the Decemberist uprising, but the point of putting forward by brother of the SS Cyril and Methodist in Kiev does not show any ideological affiliation to the revolt. We should ban the spread of uh, this ideology. We should let the idea flourish. We should ignore this movement. Who gives a damn? <coughs> it's not our problem because. Okay, I'm gonna get some troop around the Qing border as well because our front line is really huge and I don't want to, uh, you know, like not really careful and the Qing just declare war on us. Uncolonized land, the hell. Never mind. Okay, so we gotta colonize some of these. We're gonna pay because it's still mountains and hills, and the base game doesn't do anything. So we have to do it by ourselves. Okay. Got some money. Well, colonize is quite expensive, so yeah. The Jewish question of Russia. The situation of the Jews in the Russian Empire has been largely debated ever since the annexation of Poland gave the Russian a significant population of Jews in its empire. Today, Jews remain mostly in Poland, and the norm has been practiced of the Ustav Rekrutskoy Provincenosti. Oh my god. With whom young Jewish male would be stripped away from their family and recruit in the Russian army for 25 years, very often resulting in a partial or total Russification of this Jew. Should this policy be changed, continue our current policy and strengthen? So happiness might be to minus, but we have so many troops. Yes, let's do that one. I don't give a damn, bro. Let's go to this one. Mine accident that might be close. So I'm gonna spam all the troops. I don't care. Okay, let's have a look at. Oh, Austrian Empire is really low. A failed trade. I don't care. But uh, our treasury is all low as well. Join war against Switzerland. No, bro, you can do it by yourself. Oh my god. Austria is going down. France is doing okay. Belgium, United Belgium state. Okay. Hess and Moldova. And this is what? Austrian Empire, waste of time and money. The step has to be tame. For a centuries, the people of the Central Asian steppe have been a problem of our trouble for the Russian state. But as for now, in the 19th century, Central Asia remained as nothing more as a weak and unstable desert filled with divided cities and horde that have little authority. 
Although the resources of this region are not many and population will be hard to tame, the Russian Empire could need the strategic position to enlarge the control of our Caspian domain together. With dividing water of the Oriental state, whatever it might be, the step will be eventually under our imperial might, so better early than later or right now. We will march to Kazakh's land. We will cannot afford anything right now. Well, let's go to war. Yeah, I think we're ready. Yeah, they don't know anything about us. Okay, except they just took a few, but never mind. Let's just march in. And there we go. And this one, and this one, this one. Push to Kazal and now to Zapnai. Damn, broke, 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 broke. It's good. Now, let's go in again. And we take this one here. I think Kazak is quite huge. I mean, if I don't do events on this one, I would just annex them early because, like I said, strategic point. This is really important. And for those who play Hoi 4, know exactly how important is Kazakhstan border. And now we are also low on treasury. What the F? Okay, let's take this one here and this one. Okay, we left a few unfixed here. It's fine. We'll tame them later. Okay, so we spread to this and this. We split our troops into multiple form and take this too. Okay. Okay, so now the these will be left behind. And one thing I like about this mod is that when your troops or when you cut the enemy troops out of their supply, meaning cut off their uh, allies, more than likely they will just uh, stay right there. Meaning that they cut off, they don't do anything more. They are useless right now. So yeah, that's the thing. Okay, good, good, good. Now, let's just go right in. Okay, it's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And we annex Kazakhstan. <laughs> all of it, of course. It has to be all, yes. And assimilation begins. Let's just click, 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 click. Powerful speech, whatever. I don't care. The what? The pluralizing of the Catholic. Our emperor has decided that the best way to integrate non-Russian Catholic people of the Russian Empire is through the help of a former Byzantine Catholic priest, Joseph Zemaskov, now a convinced Orthodox. Through this, uh, his uh, theological lesson, Nicholas I hoped that the Eastern right catholic of the ukraine white rush and Lutheran will be easily converted to orthodox happiness minus one percent let's just reopen the mine i mean i don't want them happiness to go that low and mine problems always happen and then then why would you want to do the mine so bad great trade thank you so the event is really good it gives you money it gives you uh, cash, sometimes it takes it from you. Okay, so I will just border near Kaja, just in case shit happens. Okay, and the Ottoman is stretching so good. Uh, I think they're pushing Kaja right now to the brings of collapse. And we are at war with the Qing. I knew this, I knew it, mother freaker. I will hold around here. And, and here as well. I have to send some troops. I cannot do this for so long. Oh my god. 28,000 troops. How about we land here? And we hold at Petropav. That's a good one. Petropav. I can also annex Grand Duchy of Finland, but I don't want to. Uh, okay, so we're gonna send more men into it. 
and uh, we're gonna see how the chain reacts and also we are going to check if we are able to do the uh, fast surrender thing or peace agreement no peace I think they will just take everything from us see see I told you I thought I, I was gonna make it uh, a fast gameplay but now it's, it's never gonna happen since now Austria and Prussia is gone I don't have any allies rip oh my god should have helped them should have helped them for real Okay, now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna wait until they do something stupid like pushing through my domain, my land for quite deep. So I can just, uh, you know, you know what I'm gonna do, just cut them off. And building troops. I don't really care because right now they're gonna attack. They're coming in. A failed trade. Okay, I know, I know. Great news, thanks you. Great trade again. Okay. Uh, how about Petrovav? Yeah, that's also good. We're gonna hold them right there. We cannot afford to lose. And the Ottomans, just like I said, they managed to take by the enemy. Reform in self dorm for the Emperor Order themselves. A new law in the Empire has forbidden landless noble from further selling serf separate from their land. This is seen by many as the first step toward emancipation of the Russian serfdom. But this has yet to be done. What does the future reserve for the Russian serves? And minus money. Oh my god. We are at war, my brother. We cannot afford to lose more treasury. They will push to the Ural for sure. And some of them in this area. I think if I play as the Qing, there might be a Ven telling me what the hell is going on. The Qing is really huge, consider we can just take Tokugawa and the Dur Durani Empire, whatever you call it. Hmm. What a terrible day. Okay, let's just push back a little bit because I don't want it to be like, oh, incompetent. Okay, let's just push, push deep, just push deep. Okay, 20,000 men, 15,000 men, okay, noted, 6,000 men. Okay, so meaning they also use their uh, good troops uh, to secure and attack at a different spot so what I'm gonna do is that I'm not gonna do nothing just wait until they reach around this area or I could just abandon this land just in case they want to attack and we just this one they're gonna take you raw and they're gonna split their troops a lot, but then we will have enough troops to hold. The only problem we're having is now the treasury. Uh, it's not really good. Which is sucks, by the way. Uh, 
and okay 45,000 so we're gonna take I don't think we have enough 45,000 is a lot but consider they splitting their troops we might have enough to cut them off okay they're going to euro it's fine this one's 4,000 right 28,000 20,000 5,000 7,000 and I think we can play by their rules but I'm not so sure whether they're gonna take this one okay okay we're, we're in their land now okay we are then we abandon and we make this place and 48,000 as equal 4,000 and split up and this one is also split up we'll see how many they have if they have a lot then we're gonna do another tactics and we're gonna sit around here and wait okay this one is 20,000 so this one might have enough okay they are at the edge of that one but it's fine uh, I'm gonna cut them off for real this one is 20,000 so we're gonna send 38,000 so 9,000 is left 7,000 uh, it's gonna be a heavy fight because uh, the problem is we cannot hold long enough we don't have enough men and if we do we need to scrap all of these men that we have into the battlefield so I'm gonna send them move to move to move to 6,000, 7,000 always work. Doesn't matter the amount that we have. Uh, 5,000, 8,000 also nice. So we sending all of the troops there. 4,000 also work for me. Doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, we have this too. How about I just ask Finland to join my war? That would be more easy. Both of them. Yes. nice but we are running out of manpower uh, when we enter the Qing nations sorry Qing territories so it's gonna be really hard for us who the hell pumped that thing Jesus you know there's construction nearby uh, my neighbor is building a, a house for his son and today is Sunday, but they're still doing this kind of shit, which is annoying, to be honest. And, uh, okay, we can almost finish all our debt. Oh, rebellion, I hate it. Okay, okay. Restabilization. In these days and age, the emperor has finally gained a well-deserved peace after years of war and conflict. With our economy recovering from the past war, the future seems like it's getting better for Russia and its people. Treasury, 75,000. Economy, 5. Movement points, 1 plus 2. Bruh. That's good. That's good money. That's good money. Okay. Let's take care of this guy. And uh... Oh, we have 5,000. 50,000, sorry. Boom. Okay. Let's get some men here. Durrani. I think the Japanese might want to help us soon. I don't know. Because my past playthrough, I see Jap Japan, Tokugawa, uh, asked for help. So, hopefully we see some updates here. And I'll take here, around here somewhere. I'm going to push and just cut them off. Can I just ask for peace deal now? Yay, peace deal! That's pretty quick. You see? You see? That's how you deal with it. If you don't do nothing, they're going to bully you. But if you do something, then they will help you. Or maybe just abandon you. Or just surrender. Okay, Europe is still fighting itself. The Tomalist state of Europe is giving trouble to the mind of our emperor. 
Both Austria, France, and Prussia seem to be in a state of constant struggle against liberal and democratic devils that want to subvert the order of these countries and create a new political entities filled to the brim of these revolutionary ideals. As the Russian Empire, we have a duty to protect other righteous monarchies of Europe with all we got. If the situation with revolts would be that worrying, we are the only real empire standing. Troops, 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 troops. And rebels. Fuck the rebels. I try my best to assimilate, but still. Okay, mining accident. Okay. I think that's enough for today's episode. I don't want to take it too long. So, we took out Kazakhstan. We managed to hold against the Qing, which is a good thing, by the way. So, I will try my best to end all the uh, events as soon as possible. And we might fight the Ottoman really, really soon. I'm not so sure right now, but I'm smiling to fight maybe in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you do. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next time.